Hello everyone. In this tutorial we are going to be learning how to lip sync. Let's get straight into the tutorial as always, download the setup file in the description. I'll be using Pin for this tutorial, because the audio for this lip sync will include Pin's voice. If you want to try it out with your own audio, go into import, import to stage, then choose your audio. If any error occurs, try converting your file to the WAV format. Firstly, we are going to animate Pin's movement while she talks. It's important to animate before doing lip sync. Of course, if you only want to try out lip sync, then you can skip this. However, I would recommend giving it a go, since it would be a great way to test out your animation skills and give you more practice. Also, for this animation, keep the mouth symbol as the or mouth symbol. I'm Pin, and I have a crippling addiction to eating rubber ducks. Once you're done with that, it's time to try out some lip sync. Select Pin's mouth, and go into Frame Picker. If you can't find it, click Window, and find Frame Picker. Once you have it open, you'll find a lot of different mouths. These are what we are going to use for lip sync. Of course, you could just go with the swap symbol method for lip sync, but this method is a lot more quicker, since you just have to click a mouth to change it. Now we are going to start lip syncing. Here is a good chart which can help with it. Firstly, go over to the timeline, and make sure you can see the sound layer. It's helpful to know where the sound can be heard, so you can make lip syncing more accurate. Go through the timeline, and listen to Pin's voice. Try to hear what she's saying, and choose the respective mouth to go with it. Remember to hit F6 to create a new keyframe, when you want to change the mouth. Don't worry about making the lip sync smooth. We'll move on to that later. Just go through the audio, and change the mouth to what you can hear. I recommend having each mouth be on screen for at least 2 frames. I'm Pin, and I have a crippling addiction to eating rubber ducks. When you're done with the basic lip sync, try pressing play. It looks nice as it is, but it feels a bit too stiff. We are going to be smoothening it out now. Go back through the lip sync, and add extra frames around where the mouth opens. You want the mouth to go up and down like this. So, make sure the first and last frames of the part where the mouth opens have the mouth smaller while the middle section has the mouth bigger. This also applies to the O mouth. It would look like this. When animating the big mouths, there isn't really any other mouths to make it look smoother. Instead, you can use tweens. Stretch the mouth when it opens. And squish it when it closes. See if it looks good. I'm Pin. And I have a crippling addiction to eating rubber ducks. Finally, we are done with the lip sync. If you really want to add more detail to make it smoother, try this. Go over to where the mouth changes to an O shape. Now, go to the frame before. Try resizing it towards the O mouth, 
by holding alt and dragging the edge of the mouth. Then, go to properties, color effects, and change the brightness to something darker. Watch your animation. Now the transition to the O mouth looks much smoother. You can also do this right after the O mouth. If you don't like how it looks, you don't have to include it. I'm Pin, and I have a crippling addiction to eating rubber ducks. Congrats, you've just created a lip sync animation. I'll also leave this in the description, so you can see how it was done, and it might help you more with understanding lip sync. Thanks for watching. I'm Pin, and I have a crippling addiction to eating rubber ducks. I'm Pin, and I have a crippling addiction to eating rubber ducks.